My pressure, Reloco.
there. I go here. This goes there. Let's press some buttons. Okay. He, I, I, I... If I can explain how I feel right now, real quick, just real quick, just real quick, just real quick. I think I'm being melodramatic. I, I know I'm being melodramatic because I'm a melodramatic person. I, of course I am. Um, oh, I did, Elrath. I did. A quick little backstory here. If you're watching this as a VOD, I'm sorry. Just fast forward. Um, I grew up playing Baldur's Gate 2. I remember playing it at my friend's house. When I was a kid, uh, we did like a LAN party because that's what you did back then. You brought your computer over to your friend's house and you guys played LAN parties. I played, we played Tribes. Tribes? Who played that game? And uh, that's when I learned about Baldur's Gate 2, but he had been playing Planescape Torment. Um, we had played Baldur's Gate 1 together. And I just have a lot of really vivid memories of Baldur's Gate 2. It, it was a huge part of my, of my like kind of early adolescence and it just upbringing and, and playing on my own and going through all those many discs but jumping into Baldur's Gate 3 was 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 so fun it was so fun and we've covered it now for six months God, it's... for six months or so right since our, from August to now and having beaten it just last week for the first time after six months after six months of coverage over a hundred videos out to you guys probably a hundred plus hours of uh, probably almost like 200 hours of, of videos to you bros five six hundred hours on my end beating it and then coming back to this almost feels like going on a date with an ex not even a gate a date but just going out with like an ex and kind of like reminiscing about, yeah, I remember when uh, we were in love. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, here we are. Back at the beginning. And I'm just like, same. Carlac, no. <laughs> a monk wizard build? Uh, definitely go with something like a monk uh, four elements and uh, wizard build could be cool. Uh, that's not true. Streamlabs, it's not true at all. It's not that. Uh, I fixed Streamlabs, by the way. So if you type in stuff like Y Twitch and stuff like that, it all works again. Timer. Uh, September is no longer a thing. Dick. I had a call yesterday with Google, by the way, guys, and they were set and they said, you actually have near perfect YouTube channel. And I was like, that feels pretty cool. As far as like things I should be doing on like the back end and stuff like that. Five, okay, perfect. all those hammers are good. They're like, not like, not like content wise. They're meant like how I, how I portray content, how I do titles, how I do everything. They're like, yeah, this is pretty much exactly what we want people to do. Uh, they're like, just promote your, your merch more. It's like, you, they're like, you've got merch, might as well use it. I'm like, you've got a good point. I have new merch being made though. Never played any D and D or Baldur's Gate game until BG3 and I love it. Watched the movie yesterday. Dude, the movie is so good. And after playing BG3, it was kind of funny to see the, see the speak with the, <laughs> the movie. It's so good. Um, we're going to go good resist, I think, right? That's what we're going to do, bros. And the main character is going to be a barded in. Someone asked me, um, are we going to be doing... Um, um, yeah, yeah, Buttle. Yeah, that, that last inning was really rough. I, I didn't like it. But you know what? I got the achievements for it, so we're out of the way with that. I never have to fucking go through it again. Um, someone asked me, am I going to go two barded in? And then just su two levels into Paladin, just go into Bard and suffer through? Or are we going to respec at level 8? And I think that that's actually... I like that call because I really want to play a Paladin. But this allows me to play a pure Paladin to 8 levels and then respec into Sword Bard. So we'll go 2 levels into Paladin, 6 levels into Sword Bard at level 8. That will enable us to get our extra attack online. But in the meantime, I can have fun um, doing a, couple, a little bit more stuff. 
Are your previous streams open to watch? Yeah, absolutely. They're, they are up on the channel decks. Thank you very much for uh, um, the $2 donation, dude. No, not doing a solo. No, 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 no. I, I actually, okay, personally, I know that's a big thing right now. Um, to do solo playthroughs, but I personally find them to be... <laughs> um, I find them to be, like, really, like, not offensive, but I'm like, man, there's so much great stuff in these games. Uh, as far as the, the characters and everything, I couldn't imagine playing without it. The rest of my party comp, I do not know. We're going to build it together. Um... I think we're definitely going to go with a Tempest Sorcerer. Um, that's going to be Gale. I, I kind of want to go with a Wild Magic Barbarian. Wild Magic Barbarians will infuse us as a Bardadin with spell slots. They can recover level 1 and level 2 spell slots for you. So I think that's a really cool, really fun to do, uh, thing to do. And it's not, an, it's, not a, it's not an OP build. I think that's what I kind of like about the Wild, um, the wild Heart Barbarian. Wild Magic Barbarian. Wild Surge Barbarian. The, the Surgy Barbarian. Uh, you cannot currently uh, request a song. Ult Ultimus Ultima is sin. Alt Ultima Ultimus. Thank you very much for subbing up, my dude. So, do I go honor mode or do we go tactician? Uh, we could do a custom rule set mode. <clears throat> Basically, put everything to tactician. Okay, Ultimus got it. I was thinking if we bring Minthara, we make her the Barbarian, yes. Um, Jugger D has subbed up with Prime as well. A hype train is incoming, my bro. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Yeah. I, I kind of don't care about completing it on one save. The reason I was looking at a customize is because I think for this build, what I want to also do is use it to make a, a boss guide videos for honor mode. Does there, is there a way to kind of turn on the honor mode stuff in this though? Always prompt reactions, hide NPC health, hide failed perception rules, hide password rules and dialogue, preview dialogue. I don't see the, uh, where's the legendary action stuff? Additional combat mechanics. Okay, so if we fail honor mode though, Belliers, I know it goes into like a custom mode, but is that a custom mode that has the honor stuff? I, I thought honor mode, I thought... Summer Chillin' subbed up with Prime as well, dude. Okay, if that's the case, then we're good. If we still get legendary abilities and we fail um, in honor mode, who cares? Is if it goes to a custom rule set, but we just don't get the honor mode benefit. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. The update's tomorrow. Well, we'll see what happens. So as long as we're in honor mode, and the honor mode kicks into a custom save, uh, we get all the legendary action still. That's all I care about. <clears throat> Okay, um, so we are going to go with a gif, right? The The alternative to this is I go with what I wanted to kind of go with was a tiefling, a tiefling. No, we, I, I think it's going to be fun to go gif because I want to see what the gif interactions are like in this game. Um, it'll be cool to kind of also hinge ourselves upon a lot of the gif items in the game. Uh, if you did not know, if you play gif, you get unique dialogue and things that happen only to that style of character yeah and also yeah of course right like boom all this stuff is really cool class will be a paladin and we're going to be going oath of vengeance oath of vengeance is going to be our big focus of course uh because when we go to level two levels into bardin in, that's going to be great for us um what's up anthony um let me get also this if you are watching on youtube do make that switch to twitch it does help me out quite a bit let me actually do this on on youtube uh you guys can pop into my merch store if you so wish i've got new merch coming out so it's not like it's good 
the current merch is like is more geared towards Warhammer, but the merch I will be doing will be more engage your audience. Now would be a good time to insert an ad. What a pin. Another loyal devotee. Um, it helps me more if you watch on Twitch, but if you want to watch here, it's no big deal. I don't even remember how to do it anymore. There's a way to pin to the uh chat oh. oh you do need to make one man if you don't want it another loyal devotee yeah don't remember how to do it so you can find it on my videos it's below the description above the comments <clears throat> Steadfast. That link might not work, Kiyoshi. Here's the actual Discord link if it doesn't. Okay, so yeah, we'll be going with the uh, um, Vengeance Paladin, which will, might be a little wild. I don't know what's going to oath break us. I don't know what. Um, and if you guys do know, help me out. I wish it would tell you, like, this could break your oath. Uh, oath of Vengeance Paladins abide by the following tenets fight the greater evil, exerting your wisdom, identify the higher morality in a given instance and fight for it. No mercy for the wicked. Chasten those who dole out their villainy by wiping their blight from the world forever. Is there any significant benefit of what oath you chose if you're only dipping into Paladins for two There is because I still have to abide by the oath. <clears throat> Ew, fuck that, Salami. Uh, I also thought about going Oath of Devotion, but it's not great. <laughs> I don't. Oath of Devotion is like the the... The honorable quintessential paladin. Um, sparing Ethel is breaking Oath of Vengeance. It is, yeah. Yes, it does, Red Hot Chili Pepper. So vengeance, if you spare any of it, baddies, it will oath break you. Yes. 100%. Don't eat Gale's hand. Won't Gale leave your party? We're not doing an evil playthrough, Fly Hire. We're going to resist the urge. I also really like Ancients as well. Ancients is my favorite paladin um, oath, I think. Because... Having those healing reactor things is really nice. I don't play with any mods, Stas. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Hellrider's Pride is so good. Um, see, that's the thing is, I love this. This is such a good... So this scales with your... Uh, it's charisma and your level. It's like two... It's your proficiency bonus, your charisma, and your level, I believe. I'm currently doing a dirge playthrough as a Sorkin in based off your build video. It's been super fun. Absolutely. Damn, Barracuda. I'm glad that's helping you out, my man. Um... So let's go with a background. I don't think I want to go with my typical guild artisan. I just always do it. And I... let's go with something fun. And oh, holy bands. shit, Mike throws out bands, threw out bands, and gave out 10 community subs. You. Oh, that's right. You're right. Oh, You're right. Big Darker. <laughs> you guys are so smart. You guys want to make YouTube videos? <laughs> um. Oath of Ancients or Vengeance? I think we're going... Well, keep in mind right now, we're going to go eight, seven levels, technically, into Paladin. So as a pure Paladin, maybe we go those seven levels into Ancients. That might be better in the beginning, and then we'll pivot to Oath of Vengeance when we respect. What do you guys think of that? 
Uh, Mike, I put uh, I put money on the Chiefs to win because they were the underdog, and I uh, I won money. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with. Ever said you sound like binging with Babish? Um, people have said I sound like him and I look like him. Uh, Bean Town Wide Test. This is only recent that I have a mustache. I used to have a beard. But this would be another this would be another example of do as I say and not as I do. Put that in a ramekin in the oven for three at three hundred degrees for twenty minutes and it will join the clean the clean plate club. If it doesn't surprise you, I do watch Andrew Rea. <laughs> Uh, let's do Ancients here. Uh, we'll do Hana one, of course. Paladin, we're all good. I have to change how we look. What is up, Zyphir? Do you want $5,500? I only put two... I was like, ah, I'll just put 200 bucks onto it. I'm, I'm just looking to have fun. Dark, Dark Urge Evil is like the beginning of Champion of Corn. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, let's go ahead and drop our decks because we're going to go Heavy Armor. This will be my first actual Heavy Armor playthrough. I'm excited for that. Um, wisdom can be as is. Oh, Patty Mahones. <laughs> uh, we'll do an insight there like that. Uh, kind of. We're going to go through it together. <clears throat> uh, a wicked, a wicked moment. A wicked moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by sword or spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever your adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Flats and resubbing as well. Thank you, Flats. Morn Grey Castle has subbed up as well. Guys, thank you so much for subbing, bros. Let's do a little bit of this. Gives people a chance to come in. I want to get us going, though, in the next eight minutes. Less than. I think maybe the problem that that it is like you choose you've got like the gif you've got like the most you've got the most like neanderthal gif as your display of the gif like do you want to be a gif like oh god no like that's that's that kind of just looks like a wood elf yeah we're gonna do we're taking gale and asterian because i want to ascend asterian Is there any difference between these two? They're the same. Head one and head not. Okay, the slight difference in the eyes. Kind of like, kind of like the battle scar. Look at this, like, like Clint Eastwood is a gif. Get off my lawn. That's not. That's like Max Payne playing Clint Eastwood. Yeah, female gif is is definitely better. Uh, I think voice five is the default one for um, uh, this thing. For Dark Urge. How dare you? Can I buy no gif? I don't even know what kind of like color I want to go with. Reddish. I like that reddish. What kind, of, what kind of fancy stuff can I do with eyes here? Oh, okay. Uh, I should probably turn that on, by the way. Hey, Roman, don't even, don't even. I, I can't, I can't stay with you, bud. We went and played. You don't need to be fucking going crazy out there. Oh, look at these eyes. You can go crazy with these eyes. Yeah, I don't like this too much. Bro, come. Good topaz. How can you, can you do like a fire with them? Damn. Sometimes you, depending on the eyes, sometimes you can get the flame to actually look actually like kick in it's meant for the dragons but you can use it and sometimes depending on what race you are uh the flame actually works oh stop it bud we go something on the red spectrum here oh that's brown ruby Ruby. Oh, that's kind of cool. It works on it works on the Tieflings, kind of, but not in the same way it does for Zevlor, which sucks. Zevlor has the coolest eyes because you also Zevlor and uh, Karlak have like cat eyes. Ooh, 
Those obsidian eyes look pretty cool too. I've never I've never even gone through this as a gift. This is pretty cool. I've always just been like, yeah, I'm not gonna You're gonna talk about it in the video, but I'm not gonna actually play one. <laughs> the blue, this one? Or are you talking about like actual blue? Like I don't know if it meant sapphire or blue, which is not blue. Uh, I guess we could try for the Act 1 Silver Sword. I don't know how good that would be. I like that too, yeah. I thought Tactician would be... I've already read this Missing 8, but I'm going to read it out loud for you. I thought Tactician would be more difficult, but so far I'm just... Fucking it over a barrel over the 50 states, you know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean, brother. What up, dog? How you doing, Double Down Diplo? Well, you were the real Diplo. This doesn't look as good in this character. Uh, like, a lot of characters, because of, like, they, uh... Because of, like, their brow, how, it, like, descended it is, you could take, like, the black makeup here, and it just makes their eyes, their eyes look like really really like pops them out but not in this case that kind of helps a little bit it adds like a i mean that's fine but i i kind of just like the natural shadow that this adds to make the eye pop more and like any kind of uh uh conversation stuff like that oh, i am a paladin Yeah, exactly. It just it just makes like the eyes look pop more. None of this looks good on this like on the GIF. I feel like GIF I just have to have like intense hair. What oh, is up, man? How you doing, Anthony? An earnest disciple. Oh. Darker Palo Mabel. Mabel, baby. Going in for broke. Boy band gift. Korean K pop band. No, we don't, we don't. No lay, no lay's out this time around. I don't even know what care color gifts typically have. What's like, what, what's, what's, what's lore accurate? Is it this? Dude, look at this. This is a mad Karen. <laughs> can I, um, where's the manager? Can I talk to your manager? Can I talk to your manager? I'm going to have to talk to your manager. Where is your manager? Mmm, where's my manager? I'm going to talk to the manager. <laughs> What what's the lore of hair color for gift? Oh, okay. We can maybe try that. that is, see that? This is not it, man. A steadfast supporter. Yeah, there's Voss's hair. Listen, I have something important to say. You can you can keep that to yourself. I'm gonna go with a mohawk again. It just kind of. There's nothing that's really jumping out to me. Do gifts have dreads? Yeah, I think it ultimately is probably going to land on the, this one. Either this one or the Mohawk. This is, what, this is what our last character had. 
I think it's just a solid haircut. I think all the hairstyles, it, this, there's nothing wrong with this. I just think that most of them skew feminine in the sense that it doesn't really fit like. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Like, I, and, and I'm not saying that in a negative way. I'm just saying like, it doesn't fit for me, the image. Like, I think most of them are meant for like female bodies. All this, all this. Wait, can I, do I have facial hair? Gifts seem weird with facial hair. It, se it seems like it seems like a kid putting on like press on uh, uh, facial hair. The dreads do have a predator vibe, right? An evil handlebar mustache. Dark urge. Yeah, the facial hair does not look good on a GIF. Have you tried Bobble's mustache? I live it every day, Lewin, too. All right, is it going to be... Dreads or Mohawk, bros? What, what do you guys think? Crazy. That's fucking crazy looking. Make Dave Mustang. Oh, the Mohawk. The curly Mohawk? What's the curly Mohawk? There's also this. Which is dreads as a mohawk. <laughs> Another loyal devotee. You, you know that's what I am, though, right? Party stash. We want one of these. I love myself. <laughs> I shan't be. I shan't be shamed by society for my, for my uh, um, place and birth and who I am. There's no guilt. There's no guilt for what I, for the, for the skin in which I reside. For the coil in which I inhabit. At least you're not a gift. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I think the mustache looks, like I said, it looks like a, it looks like a kid putting a fucking mustache on or, or it's like, oh yeah, no, 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 it's a real beard. Don't tug it. It's a real beard. Do not fucking tuck it. Okay, I think we're good there. The worst beard is the first one. It looks awful. Which one's first? This one? The jaw clinger? Yeah, the, the prepubescent beard. Is there not one for ears? Oh, we didn't do body art. We're going to do body art. 
though. Uh, I guess there's Gift Paladins. I think the darker red looks good. I was either going to go with a complementary color or, or another color. I don't like that as much. I don't like this. I, I'm kind of leaning towards that. You know the facial, I, I, dude, I would never get a facial tattoo, but the the facial tats in this game just just work. This was my my ranger has this one. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you. In the water boy just subbed up, guys. We hit our sub goal for the fucking month at thirteen days into the month. Where is it? This one? Yeah, my that's the one my ranger has. Ball slept with everything, baby. And remember, it doesn't need to be Ball that made the gift spawn. You look at, uh, um, look at Orin. Orin is not a product of Ball directly. Do we need body types? Um, I, I think this kind of works, bros. What do you think? Remember, I have never played Dark Urge, so do not spoil anything for me. Well, it's interesting. Played a little bit. Even that looks pretty. I think this is it. Okay. Um. Rocks fall. Everyone dies. <laughs> I think stat-wise, this will do. Um, we're going heavy armor, so we don't need any more decks. But I definitely don't want any penalty to decks. Sixteen strength is where we're going to probably exist here. Uh, we have 16 Charisma as well, 10 Wisdom to just kind of resist, and 14 Constitution. I think this works, right? It's like the beard he could never grow. Inside and Persuasion, that'll do, pig. Good. Let's go, Gith Yankee Name Generator, Dungeons & Dragons. Ooh, that's good. Veth? Zveth? Zidan? Jekka-un? Kopa-a-as? Kopius Mets ass? Trachus? Try kill doc? That sounds weird. Dicketh? Uh? Tren? Uh-huh. Quippus, Gith, Tron, Eros, Loth. Eros is pretty cool. I like that. Here, we'll open this up over here so you guys can see it. And then there was just simply Mark. Come on. Oh, display capture. That's right. Myself a new. Our modest nope. fellowship expands. Praise the sun. Got myself a new graphics card. Thank you very much for subbing up, Garfield. Uh, Eros is probably our go-to right now. Eros. Dimon. Isoth. Jakirdon. Quest, you can, Kith. Dakamoon. Trident, Quilinus, Dekus. Dude, arrows sound pretty cool still. Yeah, Tren, I was like, Tren? Deca? Deca? We got Deca? We got Deca in the house? Ross. <laughs> Voth. Renirdoth. Jaka. Headless Chicken, isn't that just Klingon? Girth. <laughs> G-R apostrophe I-T-H. Girth. Girth. Yeah, here. Take, take this link. This will do um, any race for you. Fantasy name generator, fantasy and folklore. You can just pop in anyone. This, um, first copy. Link. Stop. So, D ball. 
Pikmin and Omoth. You know what? I'm just going to go. I'm thinking, I'm liking the arrows. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you can see all, all the tiefling names down here. Dulux Marble Forger from Deep Gnomes, Drow Names. That's where I got Valtran. I took Valtran and I made, uh, so I got Valdos too. It was from here. Turok. Oh, man. One of the best. Easily one of the best in 64 games. Here you go, guys. Here's a link to that. Okay, we'll proceed. The Valtran is a drug. Did I not know this? You know what? I kind of like the contrast of that a little bit more. She orc, large craft beer technician vibes. I love it. Well, who's our? What's our? What's our? What's our guardian gonna be? It's gonna be default guardian. I'm not. I'm not customizing this. Oh, Mama Gith! <laughs> Mama Gith! Mama Gith is pretty hot. Mama Gith, dude. Mama Gith. We're going Mama Gith for Mama Gith for sure. Why you can get you can get instrument proficiency by just talking to Alfira? All right, bros. We're back into it. Love you too, Penox. The dark urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. What am I using? Oh. A hammer of the war. What is this? Palin Oaths and their tenants. This old, weary tomb is penned in the heavy hand of a dutiful soul. You have sworn an oath, Palin, and a promise. To uphold your tenets at any time and at any cost. It is a weight oh, it is a weighty destiny, but it is one your beleaguered shoulders must bear, lest your fault yes you falter and warp into a most avarice being indeed. Remember your tenets, Paladin. Remember your purpose. Remember your promise. Oath of the ancients, the morning dew clings to the glade grass. The calling bird harks the rising sun. The glimmer of dawn light ambles across the breaking tide. It is all perfect. And it is your perfect duty to protect it. It is the joy of existence and the basking glory of creation that you must hold close to your heart. Never let it slip, Paladin. Never let it be taken. Of the devotion, you wipe away the languishing tear curling an unfortunate cheek. You hold them a whisper words of comfort and stand your steadfast self before their tormentors. For the weak to grow strong, Paladin, they must first behold a paragon of loyalty, of strength, you. Oath of vengeance, Villains, betrayers, oathless fiends, they lurk around every corner, preying on the vulnerable and twisting the world in their favor. 
you must twist a sword through their hearts. Every last one, you must be relentless, Paladin. Your wrath cannot rest, for the wicked certainly won't. Hmm. Zaza Eater, what? No, I, I've not. I've not had hair in a long time. <laughs> Uh, probably two-handed, realistically, you know. I don't- there's nothing in here I really need to- you know what? We are playing... Dark- we are playing fucking honor mode, so I should probably scoop up every little fucking thing. What up, peace dog? Uh, special rules are we're gonna do 100%, we're gonna resist the dark urge, and we're gonna do a 100% uh, playthrough. Visions project into your mind. Don't mind if I do. Guys, I've been playing a lot of Helldivers too. And it's really fun. I thought about streaming it. No traps, please. Okay, it's just it's just like playing fucking something good here. Starship Troopers. What's the news for me? Yeah, I'm, I've been playing with friends, so I haven't been worried about that. But yeah, I, I have definitely heard that it is a uh, an issue. Here goes nothing. Would you like to know more? A goblin, a little tiny goblin. Look at this goblin. Look at that goblin. Don't you worry, baby. Look at all these slates. So, our first conundrum is that there is a channel, there is a, uh, um, probably maybe Minthara. Um, there is a requirement, not a requirement, there is an achievement to kill the commander. I don't really think that's, po I don't really think that's, that's like logically doable on an honor mode. So we're probably gonna skip that one. Yes, we have come to save us from this place. From this place, you'll free us. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. Okay, we'll try it. Of the mind flares who abducted you. Well, we're not soloing. There's not. This is not a solo playthrough. I'm not fucking crazy. Before they return. They return. Okay. The minor problem. Let's do it. Ooh, a pet, a pet of geek scum destroy the intelligent dove hour. What do we need? So many enemies. Yeah, you know, I do definitely want to try to get that sword. How are you gonna kill him? What? How does that work? Four people. I have no idea. <laughs> this went well. This went very well. Oh. The skull holds fire. It looks stuck. I didn't want to dry it, Rain. I didn't check. I didn't check. I didn't check that version. We'll check. I totally forgot. I totally forgot to fucking look at the fucking whole point. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This is your end. We're kind of the same. Bless with Shart and regen the spell slots before the first and disarm him worked pretty well. How do you do that? 
That's fine, never forgotten. You can keep a member of the party back where there are healing pods so she can just keep so they can keep activating it when the rest of the party that is fighting low. Uh, you can only use those healing pods once on honor mode. Look at my hair. You know, I've never felt that. I haven't felt that in years. That's weird. Does it usually just push you into the fight? I was thinking of going with something with a druid. What do you guys think of that? Like, take Halson or take Jahira. I kind of want to take Minsk. Like, as soon as we get into Act 3, beeline for Minsk. I mean, I don't really need Minthara in this playthrough. I do have my Drow Rogue I'd probably take Minthara with. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go get us. I'm just kind of looting this place up a little bit so I don't have to do that. Dude, the Minsk is... Minsk is... People have asked me who my favorite character in the game is. It's Minsk. 100%. Matt Mercer crushed it. Matt Mercer did such a fucking good job. Guys, mark my words. You can clip this. We're going to clip this right now after I say it. I am going to, this this next year, I'm going to strive to get, to break into voice acting. And within the next two years, I will meet and or have a project with Matt Mercer. Boom. I clipped it. It's happening. What's up, Jay? How you doing, dude? Okay. Hey, you know what? Fuck. He's so fun in Act 3. I think just beelining for Minx and getting him is so fun. Thank you, Spartan. I do a lot of voice stuff, but not like voice acting stuff. I do uh, a lot of impersonations and fun, goofy voices and such. Oh, we did it. The brain lifts from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more <laughs> it if you do that as a dark urge, he said he says uh the brain would be better with finger holes inside of it. It's like oh fuck. Damn it, I didn't- you're right. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck that version. Is that blood? No. We need to go get the chests, we said, though. To, to kind of cheese. Are we doing some cheese on the... Best be on my way. Here we go. We're cheesing that fight in the end, at the beginning. Here. Uh, that's no ham, that's boo. What are we talking about? Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to all these achievements that I can film. Um, we will like, I think the harder achievements, stuff like that's an act two, um, stuff like that. Might be useful. Um, I'll do little recordings of it. Well, edge Hitman, we're, we're just dropping these on the ground. Yep, Shadow Heart's definitely gonna get it. Because I assume we're gonna drop the weapon, right? Yeah, show me how to do that. I don't really understand what you guys are saying. It sounds like I'm gonna like run out of time. But I I, I get the gist of it, right? Like run in there, have someone to use this thing. Yeah. Is this anyway? Oh. No, we're not breaking the up. Yeah, I'm not I'm not confident we're gonna beat him, but I'm not really worried about it either. Uh which one of these frees them? It's just more experience, so we might as well do it. Um Middle freeze? Okay. Well, I don't know if it breaks an oath, so I didn't do it. It's just experience. Well, it's other experience for not getting, for not killing them or doing what you just, just let me fucking do what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, again, I don't know if that causes an issue with my oath, so I'm not going to go killing innocents. You fucking murder hobos. I swear to God, everyone who plays these games is like, oh, just kill them. Yeah, you can just free range kill everyone. Why don't you just kill those people? I don't get it. Why aren't you killing everyone here? You should just steal and kill everything in this room. Hey, I don't know. you Our modest fellowship ace rock resubbed up as well All right this is thomas leaf bro side and thank you very much bro chacho the way he said that did not sound like it was actually him that said that another brain I guess we could free this thing for more experience too, right?
No experience here? Okay, never mind. Um, I actually very rarely do that fight. This fight right here, at least. Guys, if you are watching on YouTube, do make that switch to Twitch. We have something like 117 of you bros watching on Twitch on Twitch right now, so thank you so much for tuning in here. I know I know the first episode of these streams always kind of gets a lot of viewership, so I really appreciate it, guys. A we know I'm gonna call yourself a tiny terror. <laughs> Jetlin, what's up, dude? The console hums to life. Hey, yeah, fuck yeah, I made that 10 check. Hey, remember when I was supposed to check the 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 dice roll? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna press this. I want to do this. The shining honor I bestow it upon myself. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Take a screenshot. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. Babe. Thought that damn thing was going this is going to be a... I'm going to be a barded in. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. A barded in is me. Here. Oh, I love that. Her gratitude wanes because you're a gift. That's cool. Uh, do you have a super chat or only see Twitch chat? I see both chats. Uh, Shetland, for example, Shetland Apache is on YouTube. Better convince other people to do the murdering for you so you don't have to put down the popcorn. That's what your kind does. They take. Still, you did help me. We both need all the help we can get. Let's try to get off this thing together. One moment. Yeah, go get your little weird. It's not enough. She's right. Okay. Whatever it takes. Do, 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 do that, do this. I mean, I could use Bane, but it's a concentration ability, so it's not really going to work. Yeah, we're gonna go sword bar. We're gonna go the super, super broken one, because I want to try it out. Have a lot on my well, I thought about it'd be really cool if you could do, if I did one with a cleric and one with a Saluna cleric. No, I... Is that a random chance of finding a, a speed pot? So here, oh, let's, let's use this real quick, um, just to cap this guy off. Um, so here's what I'm thinking. My main character will be a Bardadin. Then Gale, I'm going to make a uh, Tempest Sorcerer. So two levels into Tempest Cleric, ten levels into um, Storm Sorcery. Maybe Draconic Ancestry, I haven't decided. Um... A wild magic barbarian and maybe a druid, probably a druid. Your barded in bleed barbarian, a wild magic sort, and a clara rogue. What the fuck's a clara rogue? An earnest disciple. Game breaking? Yeah, that's not necessarily game breaking. I mean, the first two are game breaking ish. Cleric Rogue. Oh, okay. I feel better. Oh, 
So we're saying we want to put the chests in here. Uh, no, no, no abjuration wizard. We did that. Kind of, but not really. Or do we want to put the chest right here? At the floor, by the fire, not on the fire. No, there's no save. There's no mod. There's no mods here. Once inside, do as yeah. I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own King Yang. Yes. Like right here. She's got it. What's next, I wonder? He's right there. Have to keep pushing. Move. Lazel and your tab in there first. Proceeding. Let's move. Where do I put the second one, though? like that oh you stack them oh okay and do I want them both right here I say I take it okay so we do this uh, it's the mouse wheel so we'd want that So, how do we bless, use the shroom, block door, attack? Interesting. Okay, drag him out of the way for now. I'm still breathing, despite everything. I'm ready. Never a dull moment. Cool, okay. Move tab in there. How much further can I go? Bless all three. All three of them? Oh no, you mean all three characters got you. Another loyal devotee. Okay, so what we're doing is what shift space with shift space. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, what? is an action. So here's what. Uh, let me just get the sequence of events right, okay, guys. So just, just, just chill. I'm trying to size this up right. So I am going to one, two, three, bless, turn base mode, activate that, and then we're good. You think one, two, three, bless, activate, run back, turn base, then do the movings? Got it. Okay. Looking ahead. You know, there, there's kind of like a weird delay, though, when it comes to that, Slami. Sometimes the game doesn't like click fast enough to the next character. Um, you can remember you can use the function keys. Can't afford to stay idle. Can't give up now. To quickly, to quickly move to characters, because what I've noticed is the game kind of has like a like a like a buffer in it. Like if I were to go, 
Okay, bless one, two, three, and then click this character. It won't click that over fast enough. So I would do this personally. The G, the GCD, baby. Um, one more thing to remember. Go ahead. Never forgotten. What? Who is this? What's this guy's name? Uh, I'm gonna record this real quick. And near the door when you start the fight. Yeah, hundred percent. Zalek, Zalek, okay, go, cool, cool. Okay, let's go ahead and switch over to here. So the achievement for defeating Commander Zalk is gonna require a little bit of prep first. So to start off, we've gotten both of the cartilaginous chests from the beginning of the game. So right when you zone in, right here at the beginning, they're on the flanks of this room. You're gonna go ahead and pick those chests up. Just, you know, right click on them, press pick up, and you're gonna bring them with you. So once you come to this room before the commander, you're gonna drop them and stack them. What the whole big thing that we're gonna do here is, with the ability to push this right like that, when the Cambians come to reinforce Commander Zalk, they're not going to be able to get into the room. So you can see here, I can't move in. They won't be able to. They can't fly over, anything like that. And if I go ahead and move that over there, move it a little bit further. There we go. You, you need just a little bit of room here. There we go. That allows me to move through. And what I'm going to be doing here to start us off is taking Shadowheart who has command. Command's going to be crucial, not necessarily to getting the weapon for your playthrough, the blade of uh, the Everburn blade, but it's more important to have the commander drop his weapon so that you actually don't get killed while trying to kill him. I'm showcasing this on honor mode, which is going to be a little bit more difficult, but if you're playing on balance mode, you could do a number of ways to kind of cheese this. And actually the commander itself, he's way easier to kill on honor mode because you've got more time. You've got a whole bunch of other circumstances, but I'm again, I'm showing you this on, um, uh, what's this thing called? The, uh, 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 on honor mode. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, easier to kill on uh, balance mode. Sorry, I'm all over the place. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna do some blessing to kind of start us off. And blessing, why we wanna do a bless here is it's gonna do a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. We wanna get as much of a benefit as we can when we're attacking commander, the commander so that it's just easier to put him down. And we kind of have to be tricky here, right? This lasts for 10 turns and it's a concentration. So uh, I'm gonna show you this part, then we're gonna jump ahead to actually fighting the commander. There's no reason to kind of show that in between. But what I can do here is, I can click this, it's got a 30 meter radius. So I'm gonna click this on Lazel, my main character and myself to help out with any kind of damage rolls, anything like that, and also trying to get um, command to trigger. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one, two, three. I'm then gonna quickly run over here to this restoration pod and use it to regenerate one of my spell slots. And then I'm gonna quickly run her to this location. And after I do that, I'm gonna enter turn-based mode. Hopefully, hopefully, after having done all of that, it will put me at a point where I'll maybe have lost one or not or two turns, but it should be more than enough to allow me to uh, still be able to kill the commander with enough time. And I have plenty of, 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 of like kind of leeway. Let's see if I've got, make sure I'm in range. Let's go ahead and do one, two, I'm already nervous just pressing the button. There we go. Oh. Over here, use that. Over here. And turn mode. So we're good. And that didn't use up any of our 10 turns. I'm going to use my main character. I'm just going to go ahead and use the bottom chest and just bring it back in and trap us inside. So now, this is now going to stop the Cambians from coming into the room. And we can go ahead and do the fight. So I'm going to jump ahead now to us actually interacting with the fight. The big note that you do want to make sure you do is bring everyone back grouped up and make sure they're all at the door together before you move in. And 
Do we never wherever everything's good, right? A1 guy. A1 steakhouse. Hydrate, I will, Roy. Thank you, man. Okay. Move there. Move there. There. I just want to make sure we can get everyone in right here. That's that's okay, Jam. It's because I was recording. Um, I'll I'll turn it up, back up and down. Um, okay, so I wanna. That's for too far back. Well, we're gonna find out, man. If if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. I don't need to. I don't need to have that video. Um. Just run her in? Okay. A steadfast support. Go over here. Lead block. Hey, good hit. I don't even think I'm close enough for a command. Who I am? Are we sure? Are you sure they're not going to pick it up? Because I want that. I want that fucking sword, man. Not sure I've had it picked up on the next turn. I have two. I have two. I've seen him pick it up. Well, Azel won't go in time. We're going to wait. I'm going to wait. I have plenty of turns for it. Nice, sick. To poop. Close enough. She'll be able to grab it on her turn. Thank you, man. That's good. Devotee. 
Yeah, exactly, right? Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm trying to wait to do this, but it, it is like bursting through me. Ugh, I'm sorry. Bros. I will cl I will return. Let's put on music in this dire time.
Good lord. It was a panic-induced moment. I was like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it back. Ah! I'm not reading chat because I just saw we are getting spoiler rates. I'm not gonna read. Of course. Always do. Come back to the poop smith. So what do you, what do you guys think about though? So I'm gonna do some merch, right? I, I'm I'm working on one of them is going to be basically like a Spartan in the same ilk as like Conan the Conqueror, if you've seen this. It's it's a straight lift from the uh, the comic, but like this. So I'm having a a, a picture drawn that's similar to this, but like a Spartan helmet. Um, Kirazan, thank you very much, dude. Giving out 10 community subs. Had to work today, so I can't join the live stream. I just wanted to pop and say hi. I can't wait to watch this playthrough. Thank you, dude. Thank you, my dude. So, it, this is the comic, by the way. Um, so, I'll have this as some merch. But what would you guys, would you guys want to see? This as merch. Just not the Be Right Back. Right, right? Like, I kind of think that'd be funny. But do we put, do we put the background there? Do we just put Roman on the toilet? Or do I put Roman on the toilet with the Be Right Back? Or, I'm sorry, with, with, the, uh, with the background. So basically, background or no background. The ethics of shitting. Or just copy. Dot, dot, dot. Otherworld Leia, thank you very much for following. On a maroon shirt, for sure. Oh, man, for sure. Right, Matt? <laughs> Isn't that a cool picture? So let's, let's let's get Trixie Dixie with this. I wonder if this is uh, for those that don't know, that's my dog Roman. Oof, Jesus, dude. Okay, good. Get that over here to try and take this guy out. The mind flare just got beat the fuck up. Well, the mind flare won't take much damage after I do this if I get it done. Right. Oh, damn! If, if this was only oh, it's an ability check. Never mind. Yeah, guys, if you do, if you can, please do make that switch to Twitch. There is the link. Okay, 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 okay. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Got to press on. A steadfast supporter. Did I pick these both up, you guys said? A steadfast supporter. Thank you. 
Saved. Fucking fucker. Save that too. They're dying for me. <laughs> They're dying for me. Oh. Oh. Well, not in time for, I mean. Is it worth it? I mean, I, there's a chance we lose the fucking Mind Flare doing this, this way. All right, let's see how it goes. So loading over here to the fight, what we're going to be doing now is using command. So we're going to use command, drop on the commander. Now, if you've done the blast in the situation, if you're playing this on honor mode, you really only have two shots of doing this. And you can see right now he's got a 55% chance of this even, you know, succeeding. You can use both Lazel or any character that can knock something or a, a day something to help increase your chances with this but because of my initiative lazella is going to go too late for me to take advantage of that but you could use something like concussive smash here which could possibly daze your target and daze of course is going to give advantage disadvantage on wisdom saving throws which is what we're looking at here with command so right now we're going to see if this triggers if it doesn't trigger i'm unfortunately shit out of luck with this playthrough and you hopefully have more luck with yours. If you're playing on balance though, just simply reload it. You don't necessarily even need to do this too, but um, what we're gonna be doing is he's gonna drop that sword and it's gonna neutralize the amount of damage he's gonna do to the Mind Flayer, who is almost already dead. And we're gonna heal the Mind Flayer using potions. So let's go ahead and see if we get lucky. We don't. So unfortunately he didn't drop that sword, so the chances of me actually getting this to go off right now are slim to none. So what we would do in this case, we would just simply run. But if that happens, you probably are not going to be able to do this because he is going to kill the Mind Flayer. Then he's going to kill you. So you definitely need to get that to drop. All right, guys. Moment of truth. Do I control out delete right now? Done. I saw one yes. That's all I needed. An earnest disciple. Yeah, it works in armor. It's not a bad sword. People shit on it all. People shit on it because they think that they're so cool. They're like, nah, man, you don't need that sword. You get a better sword. And that's just you just drinking some copium, baby. Not Alt F4 won't work, no. It's a great sword. A whole extra 1d4 damage, which is an extra damage instance, is great. Yeah, you know, actually, that's probably not the bat. The worst call is is starting technically as as two um, clerics. All right, let's see. I'm I'm actually, I'm just gonna re-record this portion. So jumping ahead, what we've done here is we've gone ahead and set up our situation. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use command, drop, 
on Commander Zalk. So we want him to drop that sword. He's going to be doing a ton of damage with that sword, and it's going to kill our Mind Flayer, who is basically going to be the one that tanks the damage here. Um, another way to really kind of help this out is if you use Daze from either Lazel or any other character that can do it to help give disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. As you can see, Concussive Smash here, so if I'm using any kind of mace, my character is using a mace, but because of the luck of initiative, both those characters are going after uh, Shadow Heart, so I cannot get that to go in. And you really, if you're playing on honor mode, you only really get two chances at this. You can control out delete and, and try and get it that way. It's kind of a little bit of a dirtier way to play. Um, but let's go ahead and try here. And if we get lucky, he'll drop his sword, in which case Lazel will pick it up. Now, I have heard that he will not pick up that sword after you do it. But if you're playing on honor mode, like I said, just err on the side of caution. Have someone right there to pick the sword up. Don't do this from across the... the um, uh, across the map and hope that it works. Let's see what happens right here when we click this. I've stopped recording. Hey, weapon drop. So there we go. So he's dropped... The <laughs> I didn't think it actually would work. So he dropped that sword. It's right there on the ground, which is perfect. It's a really good weapon, too, for the majority of Act 1. We're going to go ahead and skip turns here. It's going to jump into my next two characters, one of them being Lazel who will then pick up that blade. And that's not gonna cost an action or anything, so it's pretty cool. And what you can also do is across the room, there's two Nautiloid tanks. There's uh, two right here that I've already picked up, and then there's this one right here. So what you can do is stack these tanks up around the commander to then kill him. Um, and this will also kill the Mind Flare, but those tanks will do 10 damage each so you can get all the there's an additional one earlier in the portion of it but basically what we're doing right now is using this everburn blade and um doing what we can to destroy the commander keep in mind the commander will have fire resistance so the everburn blade won't do a ton of damage it won't won't get the benefit of the 1d4 extra damage but you can still use it to do a little bit of extra fun so I'm going to kind of do some damage here, just every turn do some damage, and jump ahead. But we'll bring us to the point that the uh, Cambians come in. Okay. Um. Blood comes easy these days. Should we switch over to the... Uh, I'm going to keep the, the screen like this so we can record when the Cambians come in. Um... Yeah, I was going to just equip the Everburn Blade right now, right? I mean, I can just use the Warhammer, but... Wonder if, the gods are watching me. if I get lucky, yeah. And what I do actually, what I want to kind of do here is push the Mind Flare with Lazelle. Okay. Good idea. Uh, no, we're gonna throw a potion. We want to keep the we want to keep the mind flare alive for now.
Correct? This is the play? Yeah, but all we need to do... We don't even need to fight those enemies. We just need to get to the transponder. I'm just going to try to provoke his money. Nah, no, she's going to do a ton of damage here, but... Oh, come fucking on my butt. And leave it there. Oh, oh I should have I should have done the smash. Oh, I forgot about the push. Okay, next time we'll push for sure. Here we go. Cambians have come in now. Okay. They can't do anything, right? Need to act fast. I was hoping just get it lures at AC. Oh my god, dude. Well, there goes the two turns on Divine Sense for the advantage. Wait a minute, couldn't I just push him into this chasm? No time to waste. Oh, you can't? I pushed the wrong character. So here we have the Cambians, they're going to try to do their thing, and they're just going to be able to attack those chests. And the chests are not going to get destroyed. So this allows them to just pretty much get stuck here, and it leaves us now 10 turns to kill the commander. As you can see, my Mind Flare is pretty low, so I'm going to be spending some time throwing potions at him. And what you can really do too is push the Mind Flare out of the way so that it provokes opportunity attacks with Commander Zalk whenever he tries to chase the Mind Flayer down. Now, unfortunately, at this point, I've probably left let the Mind Flayer get too much damage, so I probably won't be able to kill him in this playthrough, but this is the best way to possibly cheese this to make it so it can happen for you. I've got one more potion. Come a little closer. I can still throw another potion. Oh, we've got two more potions, bros. Do not despair. Hey, I have Leon hands too from the pally. I mean, I've still got the I've still got the nautiloid things though too. So if we get them down to like 40, 30 health, forty health, I can just blow them up. Oh, mm, mm, glad I did that. Glad that happened. Hey, that's that's a whole other round. Uh, we're not talking about it. This is not for experience, Lucius. This is for. Uh, God, I'm so pissed off that I just did that. Um, it's an achievement. 
This is not worth it in any other way. There's no reason to kill this guy. Okay, that's a good hit. Here's my divine fucking sense. Uh... Yeah, we're going to achieve a run on this run. And yeah, that heals him, too. Mm -mm. I'm loving everything coming out of my character right now. Let's get this heal on. Oh shit. I oh shit. Watch what happens now. Too high is what this AC is. Eighteen. Good, Sir Mark a lot. How you doing, dude? Did we get do I just blow everyone up? I mean I've got a whole nother round I can take of Mind Flare. I'm out of potions. I threw the fucking last one because I'm gonna Oh, I've got more. Alright, so that gives us two more rounds. Come on, come this way, come this way. Oh, oh that would have been great right there. Oh! Hey, that's a good hit. Okay. Unfortunately, we can't do anything else about that. If I could just get him down to 40, I'll be good. Purple Nurple, thank you for re for resubbing up here, my man. Thank you very much, my man. I don't think this is worth it. Well, that's so Chlorian, that's what I was doing, but I've now pushed the Mind Flare into range to trigger the next things. Speed potions. This is the beginning of the game, guys. Okay. Swift and lethal. Yes! Not triggering, not triggering. Good, 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 good. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, not so perfect, though. Okay, not even, not even, that's far less perfect. Still perfect. I didn't think it actually would do that much damage.
Do we not alloy? Do I start throwing bombs here? Because he's going to switch and just punch the shit out of my guys. At 76, I think we got to, I think we got to move. Is that gonna hurt them, you think? I think they're too close. Yeah, I know that's how I'm like, do I do this? What's up, Justin? Oh, that couldn't have been more perfect. Everything's fine, right? We're we're close to far enough. There is one more to place, but I can't reach it. to do is run here. I mean, I've never really had us at the end.
Romance nipped in the butt. I say we just dash right here, right? Because all I gotta get is like right there. What's my current? Yeah, yeah, yeah. These boots have seen everything. Nope. My faith will protect me. Mm hmm. Oh, fuck. Well, here. Now we're good regardless. Behold the dance of death. <laughs> the Helm's alien transponder. Oh, oh well. At least we got the the sword. Yeah, I just needed. That's all I needed. That I, my tab missed all of his advantage rolls. Like. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. I'm covered in blood and maple syrup. You half expected if you don't find a way to run your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. With haste. Drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty, but something Oh no shit. With your hands close to this body. Uh oh. Nothing of why, but Maybe I should put my wisdom higher since I'm since I'm resisting the urge. Your face. With a shake of your head, you can hear your own blood throbbing in your ears. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. So I wonder if it's a good idea to like do a specific um, astral knowledge right now. Like do it on intelligence. Out of heart, it's Christmas. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. She must have run off without us. Seems like I'm more reliable than your own people. Stop it! I just finished a playthrough where I was in love with you. <laughs> You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, Best way to wake someone up? Good shake. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. What's up, LJ? We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod. But you didn't. Lead the way. Yeah. Can do. Anorexic gith to the rescue. Yeah, absolutely, darkness. Maybe I need more pockets. 
true dark urge. If you are playing your first honor mode playthrough, pick up everything and add it to wares. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Just worth picking up in general for organizational purposes. Something good here. Yeah, they they fix shield bash and dismissing characters is easier now too. Uh, they fixed some kissing animations are better. I don't know a ton of them things though. Uh, remember, I've never played Dark Urge, so do not spoil things when you say something like, do we save Dark, do we save Karlak? Yep, you just sell, sell vendor trash. Easier. Murder Addiction is admitting you have it. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, we're, we're definitely not going to do that. Yeah, Chlorian. No, 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 no. When does that fight trigger, though? Don't they run back as I run in? The fight trigger's deeper into here, right? Because this is how I get up. Yeah, let's go. Okay, well, at least you should level up first. Um, okay, so here's the question. Great weapon fighting. Do we go two-handed with this character? Or do we sword and board it? You decide while I bust this out. Uh, sure, whatever. No dual wielding. We already dual wielded. Sword won't matter, Jaw. I mean, you could do sword board was fine. Uh, I can actually pick up another fighting style with a sword bard, which is cool. Uh, it works, Omara. I, I just did it a second ago. Really, Salami? So you... Are, wait, are you saying... Do this? Defense with sword and board. Hmm. You know, I kind of like the defense call because of the low AC. And I, I also like, I like kind of freeing up, not having to go Great Weapon Master. You know what? Let's do defense. Let's do defense. And we're going to respec anyway. And I don't think, I don't think Great Weapon Fighting right now is going to help me a ton. When you roll a one or a two on damage die for an attack with a two and a melee weapon, that die is re-rolled. I like that, right? Like, yeah, I can get more damage dished out, 
but I think the problem is with great weapons, you have a lower likelihood to hit in the beginning of the game. So I'd rather go with more stay ability, more survivability, since we're playing on honor mode where things hit harder with different amounts of uh, attack abilities. Um, I think this is okay stat wise. Do you guys recommend anything else here? Yeah, and Savage Attacker can work for any weapon we get. No, we're gonna stick. We're we're gonna go Ancients and then switch to uh, Vengeance. Um. I mean, I could get Sanctuary here. No, that's not Sanctuary. I mean, Heroism's not bad. I mean, I probably won't be doing Command. Won't really matter either, because, you know, I can swap stuff off. Oh. Yeah, I do like Heroism. The only problem is just all, all of these are Concentration. Every single spell here is a concentration spell. Fucking annoying. Yeah. Oh, command is not. You're right. You're right. You right. Uh, we'll just put spells on you for now. Um, didn't I grab Penetrate? I did. Well, it's a touch spell. I don't really want to. I want to touch him. I'm going to command. We can't do any of that yet until we get um, old withies. More of the mind players pets. I cannot stress enough: if you're doing your first honor mode playthrough, do not go in here. Those guys have Eldritch Blast. I do not recommend it at all. I recommend let that happen. Let them go back, and then you use this little location here. Jump up. There's also another chest over here. Yeah. In honor mode, you go and kill them? Yeah, I think it depends on the class. I probably wouldn't have as much problem with this character, but I did it on a on a on a monk. I got fucked up. you are darker, do you get this special interaction? Yes, we're playing Dragon Dogma 2 for sure. Uh, ignore the urge to maim. Grab the hand and pull. Look at that gold die, baby. Why? Why, guys? Why do you want that one? Look at my character. He's kind of got like a like a smile, a smirk. Why do you hate Gale? You know he was the most most picked companion. Oh. Hello, I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. What do you mean, guys? What do you mean? Of all of the characters in the game, 
he's the only one who willingly, without coercion, sacrifices himself. The only one. A bit shocked, but friend, it's all right. I think in the beginning, though, you're like, fuck this guy, man. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. No use sugarcoating it, is there? As a Gif Yankee, it's no news to you that this parasite will soon turn us into mind flayers an outcome i'd rather like to avoid you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance do you a doctor surgeon uncannily adroit with a knitting needle you seem to know enough about our i think an, uh, i think a half or companion would have been cool skills. most no doubt but i find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few you don't happen to be one of them like, I think it would have been cooler if, if if Will wasn't human. Or if Halson wasn't an elf. Because you, you have three elves. Well, four elves, right? You hear a Minthara, uh, Shadowheart, and Halson. That's four fucking elves. Yeah, there's hirelings, but I mean companion. Oh, and Asterion. Asterion's an elf. Did I say Asterion? As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand? Who would Will be then? And look for a healer I don't know. together. Older Raven Guard and Will could have been two different type of. They didn't need to be humans. Is what I'm saying. They could have been half orcs. There's nothing that says that bal Balder nobility has to be human. They could have been. They could have been dragonborn, which would have been cool. Halfling companion would have been funny. If the Blade of Frontiers was a halfling, that would have been fucking cool. Like, jumping around all fucking Yoda-like. And also like a warlock, like a badass warlock. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that oh, is he? Okay, I didn't know that about Ulder Riffengard. Before Rivengard. you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man... Thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I will could, uh, Will, or not Will, um, will Gale could have been a gnome, term. but I kind of like that, that Gale is like a, a smarmy shitlord human. Quite ready for no, I said halfling. Heck, dude, Brenna, Brenna Bright song is fucking hot. <laughs> We're going to change him, but we'll start with Evocation for now. Get those two for sure. It's like the only time in the game sleep is worth it. Phone works. Never wanted the easy path. I actually really like Will. I don't know why people people hate on Will. I Will's one of my favorite characters. I don't know, man. Lucius, Lucius, I need you to calm the fuck down. No one needs your bullshit about this game being woke or not woke. Just, just, just calm the fuck down, dude. You think it's 
We're playing a video game. We're having fun with friends. No one needs to just skirt into here and say, well, you know, I, I'm going to have a conversation about politics now. Like, I hate the whole wokeism crap. Like, just, just chill. Okay, then that's fine, man. If you don't like it, then fuck off yourself, brother. You too, dude. Have a good one, man. so fucking annoying that you can't do anything without someone having to skirt, skirt in and being like, well, it's very woke. Like, I don't give a fuck. Let me enjoy the game how I want. I don't give a fuck if it is or is not um, woke. Chris, I think that's a really good way to put it. Holy hells. Another one. Oh, whoops. Whoa, why? Whoa. Whoa, this is going to break an oath. Well, this is only five. Oh, that was going to be a one. You can roleplay as a dude with a vagina from outer space. Relax. Yeah, like, who gives a fuck, man? Like, like I said, I don't give a shit about quote-unquote wokeness. As long as it's not jammed down my throat and people are existing as they want to exist, I don't give a flying fuck. Never. I have to wait till they leave. I can't just fucking Observe swim and fucking be better. I have to wait till they kind of get out of eye. I shot. Oh, I helped her up though. I used help. What am I to do? A steadfast supporter. No time to rest. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your. But the longer you will join me, we must find a crash. Our people possess the cure. The horned ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. This means a crash is near. A hunter our alliance can let us take the trash. Crash Kalir. Few know such fortune. You will call me Lazel. Come, we find this Zoru, and we ask where he has seen our kin. Yeah, you know, I never understood that. You know, like I said. If how the fuck can a game that allows you to commit mass murder, fuck a devil, lie, steal, and betray all be called woke? <laughs> Need to keep going. Like, like I said, guys, like I don't give a fuck if you are on or against or in whatever stance you take against the quote unquote wokeness of things. I just don't care. That's your prerogative. It's whatever you want. If you want to be whatever you are, it is what you are. And that is your prerogative. But don't come into someone else's escapism and try to say that it's one thing or another. Eat my fucking ass. I do not give a shit what your opinion is about the way the game is when we're all having fun about a game playing a game. Why would you, wa why would you watch a stream of a game you hate and call woke? <laughs> An earnest I just don't fucking care. If you want to waste my time talking about what you think or what you like, that's fucking fine. But do it somewhere on do it on Twitter where no one else cares, you know? Dude, you know it's hairy, baby. I mean, look at this. Look at the fucking chest hair I have. That, that, that starts here and ends at my ankles. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wouldn't eating your ass be woke? No, no, no. It'd be like the ancient Greeks did. We all know that they did. <laughs> Our 
Yoshi, thank you very much for giving out five community subs. Very kind of you. You know, friend, that's the problem, though, with, uh, with the internet, right? People just have to talk about their thoughts all the time. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Give me out subs is not woke. It you with determination. A new subscriber arrives. It fills you with determination. How the Netflix documentary turned Alexander the Great gay. And everyone was like, who's gonna tell him? Yeah. If he thinks Alexander the Great was gay, wait till he hears about Achilles and the Myrmidons. This is basically giving you... Wait, what is that, he mouser? Yeah, and also, don't, don't come on here and try to, like, talk shit. You have a keyboard, I have a microphone. I win 10 out of 10. If you've ever read the Iliad, you know that um, Achilles and the Myrmidons, the, his stance was you'll fight harder for a man you love than a man who is just a companion. So all the Myrmidons had lots of butt sex. <laughs> there, a mind flayer. And it's hurt. You approach the dying gate. Does this break anything? The foul thing is at your mercy. Yes. And Chris you Paladin would Paladin. have its head. You could have its sacred band, baby. Yellow issue plus L plus ratio plus I have a mic plus I win. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped. It's possessing your mind. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. It's uh, yeah, I, I, killing Night Song is not. Orange pearls radiate malice. Uh, John, that's what we were talking about in, in the Twitch chat. Yeah, and so they said uh, on Twitter, some guy made this comment, and then everyone was commenting back on on it, saying, "Who's gonna tell him?" <laughs> oh fuck. Guys, in fact, if you are watching on YouTube and you can make the switch to Twitch, please do. If not, don't even worry about it. Dude, no marks. I couldn't imagine that. I, I don't, I don't know what that's like, but I don't want to see it. Quote unquote adult, right? I should speak up. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. Not you can kill it, can't you? Like you tea. killed the others? I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not a loyal devotee. Uh, I'm doing Gift of Vengeance for Palin Run 2. Started romancing Lazelle because I heard uh, push herself to your feet. Um, a steadfast. Yeah, I heard of a great arc. Shadow and I were in the Owlbear Cave, and the rest is history. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, I can't wait. I, I'm really excited for Shogun on uh, Hulu slash FX. Whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacle freaks do to me? I'm not an idiot. I so ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of steadfast support. Eyes, prowling dark Thank you, man. Streets. Appreciate it, Sergeant Blazer. I try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? Another. I guess we're gonna worship her with Shadowheart as a follower. I'm determined to make her love me. 
The worm. Of course. Oh, they'll, 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 they will, booty thief, for sure. I mean, I'm not gonna release it in I'm Japanese. It's, it's. With your <laughs> Apologies. Thank you, Soul. Appreciate that, man. I've been in this high school for six years. <laughs> uh, a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Oh, I love that. That's so sick, Salami. So Salami said that uh, patch six, the dialogue will prioritize your avatar instead of companions. Whenever it's just like, oh, it's like proximity chat, or it's proximity and, and, a, and a cutscene starts, it pulls the closest person to that person. Like, uh, Ethel's a really good example. It'll now prioritize the avatar. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Which way are you going for? Evil, good, play it by ear. Uh, resist the urge, my brother. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If I kind of think it'd be fun... Someone that can control these things, to rather than play as a Bardadin... Is to make my character... This character, the... Uh, the Barbarian. Lorentu, you have to go by the grove. But you can go, you don't need to go into it, you can keep walking. I, I just really want to have a heavy armor character. I love heavy armor characters. And I have not played really much of one. Last 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 team we had no we had almost no armor characters. Um, yeah, my first ever uh, uh, dark urge. That's exactly it, right? The barbarian can't be in heavy armor, so I'm like, ah, fuck. Whereas the Bardadin is gonna be <laughs> tempting, but your party seems a little uh, crowded right now. I like to have my space. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't about. We're doing. We're kind of safety. And you said decks of ten since no deck. Yes, one hundred percent. Target blazer. And I don't I like to have anything in an invitation. A decks. I don't want at minus one. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. I, I mean, we could cheese Raphael, but that doesn't sound like a good idea. Of a perfect, pretty call. So, what we're gonna do here is, what did I say that I don't mean? I don't, I don't even know what I said anymore. Thank God I have a whole terabyte, guys. By the way, the forty ninety was a great buy. There's no coil wine. That fucker is just so fast. It's so quiet in my room right now. If I, it's just it's quiet. Oh, love it. So what my build will probably be is I'm either gonna be the barded in, or I'm going to roll myself to a wild magic barbarian. Whichever one I don't do will be on someone else. Um, we're probably going to take a druid with us. This is honor mode, correct? Yeah. I'll take Halson, but I might swap Halson for Jahira. You cannot rage in heavy armor, Sergeant Blazer. And... Gale will be a storm tempest sorcerer. But I don't Moon Druid probably. Fuck. 
I'll be able to say brick run in two minutes. Well, that's what I was going to do is put Karlak as the wild magic barb. But I, I see what I really want to do is I want to bring Minx. He's so fun. Um, she was a fighter druid multi in uh, BG one and two. So we have my main character. So we have three. So we have three, right? So whatever one I don't take, Bardadin or Wild Magic. Gale as a Storm Tempest Cleric. Oh, man. I, I, I want to ascend the Starion. Based Mage Muscle Magic. <laughs> That's so good. That's kind of hard, though, Chlorian, right? Like, like if I say, hey, choose my build, it's like, for my companions, I mean, like, oh, okay, is it this, 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 or this? Like, and you can only vote once, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think, I think that's the call, and we'll just wild magic someone else. Um... Yeah, I'll, I'm going to put him in as fast as I can. Ever thought about a solo on a run? It's a, so fun. You know, Coaster, I, I know it's fun, but I do the whole big thing for Baldur's Gate is, is, the, is, the, is the story, is the characters. Um, yeah, for the spell slots, and it's just, it's crazy. <laughs> so I really want to have fun with that. And I've not really played with a lot of the characters and had fun with them. A steadfast supporter. New run, little tats. So here's a challenge, and this is this is kind of a segue, bros. One thing I'm kind of like, I'm thinking about is as views kind of taper off. Like I almost hit three million views in January. Now I'm right now I'm down to 2.1, 2.2. 315 of you bros checking in here today, guys. Thank you so much. 2.1 mil. If you're watching on YouTube, please do make that switch to Twitch. And I'm kind of thinking like, okay, we're going to start getting ready for the next game. And the next game is probably going to be Last Epoch. Uh, if you've not if you've not played Last Epoch, you will like it if you've played Path of Exile or if you've played uh, Diablo. It's the same kind of principle. Grim, Grim Penguin, thanks for resubbing, my brother. You with determination. Every companion is Minsk. Um, where's a steadfast supporter? Triceps magic is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. So, it's spells such as Ballista Knuckles. <laughs> um, I uh, last epoch, I'll probably do. I'm probably gonna start making videos for that this week because <sighs> last epoch launches the 22nd. If you've not played last epoch, it's very fucking good. When to come out early access is February twenty first. Okay, so in less than ten days, I did play Baldur's Gate one and two growing up. Um, apparently, I earned a copy of Banisher's New Ghosts of Eden. Sort of game to play, but I have been loving Helldivers 2 with my game. Dude, okay, so I would like to do Helldivers 2 content, and that's what I was thinking about is like um Last Epoch is really, really good. Because Last Epoch is very you don't need to build to to really crush, and you can really kind of play. Um you can play Last Epoch by just simply looking at the tree and go, okay, well, this is going to give me this type of damage. I just need to focus on this type of damage or this type of element or this type of thing. And it's easy to make builds on your own. You don't need to watch the 10 million DPS build on YouTube. It's what I really like about the game. I did, I will. Um, I was playing it for a month and a half or so before Diablo came out. Grim Penguin, this is not very much like Vampire the Masquerade, but I think you will like it. 
Um, mm. No one can really. Come on, open up. And there's a lot of really fun build diversity too, which I really like. An earnest disciple. So I can hide that shitty ass on it. So. What am I thinking here? Um. I think that last epoch will play a little more similar to Path of Exile for those that are familiar and less familiar to less similar to Diablo 3 and 4. 3 and 4 have the same feel of like, after a certain point, the game just feels ridiculous. Like, oh, okay, just 10 million damage, all right. Um, there yet. So what I've got on my whiteboard over here is some videos I have planned for last epoch, which again, I'll probably start working on this week, is a per class subclass breakdown because every single class in the game has got three different variations. Um, top 10 reasons to play last, e uh, last exile, um, last epoch, and which class should you play, stuff like that. Because it's kind of important to kind of prime the, uh, the algorithm, but I had a really cool talk with, I, I had a call with Google yesterday, a, like a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. And for those that are just, I said this earlier in the video or in the stream, uh, they were like, yeah, for all intents and purposes, your channel is pretty much like perfect as far as like best practices and stuff like that. So that's kind of cool to hear that because you don't really know if you're doing things right. You're kind of just groping around like, okay, well, I hope I'm doing the right stuff. And they're like, yeah, you've kind of got things pegged in pegged. can we hear some of your top reasons to play last epoch uh yeah so uh, yeah so um some of the reasons i really like it is that a go around it here a it's very build agnostic you don't need a a net build you know like if you're playing if, if you're a magic the gathering player you know the term net decking you know you don't need some sort of super fucking blown out of proportion build to succeed in every part of the game. Yes, you'll be super optimized, but you can get through the majority I, through the majority of every single part of the game and even the end game and push through progression on a build that is completely custom brew, which is cool because every single skill in Last Epoch has kind of a talent tree attached to it. So let's just say the skill is... The skill just slashes in front of you. Well, that slash in front of you, you can turn into a whirlwind. Or the paladin, the not really a paladin, it's called a van, uh, like called sentinel, I think is what it's called. The sentinel has a hammer. Well, you can make that hammer throw, and then you can make that hammer spin around you. So you can build stuff like hammer dens into the game, or you've got a bunch of different ways that you can make certain skills react in certain ways to make very specific builds in the way that you want to play, which is really cool. You're not stuck to, okay, I'm going to play a druid, and the druid's got two abilities, and the ability is going to be either be A or it's going to be B, like you've got in Diablo 4. Um, or Last Epoch, you know, you have your, I'm sorry, uh, uh, Path of Exile, you have your whole entire constellation system, which I think is so easy to get lost in. And you're like, I don't know what I'm fucking doing. Last Epoch, I think, is a little bit more approachable than most other ARPGs. And the devs are, they they play the game. If anyone's played Early Access, Last Epoch, you've probably played and been playing when the devs jumped on and just jumped into chat and said, hey, um, I'm playing Last Epoch, or uh, we're, we're the devs. Do you guys have anything you want to talk about? Anything like that? And they just, they weren't just like, wasn't just a Q&A. They were kind of just saying shit the way that any other person would just sh say shit in game, which is really, really cool. You know, it's like these guys aren't just sitting here. Okay, we're going to jump on. You know, this is peak time. Let's ask questions. Like, yeah, we're playing because we also play and like this game. And they're extremely responsive to feedback and not in the Blizzard way. I think Blizzard and not not like throwing shade in, in, a, in a bad sense, but 
Blizzard created the situation we have now with a lot of game companies simply looking at a simple, a single post on a Reddit or, or, a, or a, a repeated sentiment on a forum, which is such a small sample size of your total population of gamers and going, okay, we're going to make that change. And it fucks everyone over. If you've played World of Warcraft from launch up until now, you know what I'm talking about when I say they just, every month, they would just roll a, roll a new set of talents and sets for a single class and kind of revamp it. And then every, everyone would trail behind. It was almost like playing Warhammer where you had a new edition come out and you got the newest rule book for that edition and every other faction now sucks until they get the edition update. So it, it sucks. There you go. Yeah, Wrath of the uh, Death Knight. When Ice used to be the dual wielding build and Blood was your tanking build and now they're just all over the place. And they did a really good job at pivoting Last Epoch because when it came out it was not it was not solid. It was not a good situation. And they updated the graphics. They've updated all of the mechanics of all the characters in response to people. All the characters have new models. All the enemies have new models. They did a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly, Chris. Okay, let me actually... Everybody go stealthy poos here. Yep. Can we surprise these folk? Why am I doing this? Hell yeah, man. Good to hear that, true yaki. Someone said something about Fextra Life, what I see. Fextra and your videos what popped up for me when I was learning about BG3. Yeah, Fextra Life is just, they can just mill out videos, dude. I can talk them into running away. Oh, shouldn't the blocks get a call? Oh, that block, that's right. What do you do this with him? Where's his cantrips? Oh, it's right there. Why don't we just wait a while? Make sure he's safe. Aha! Oh, this again. Yes, yeah, come back. Oh shit. Can't give up. Out of sight, out of mind. It's okay. Let's get this over with. Da 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 There is no talking. There is only war. <laughs> For me, Defecture Life was uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring and Dark Souls. And then I found Fight and Cowboy, and I'll never go back. Although, to be fair, not another game? No, no. Uh, cool game, bro. He, he, he was my Bloodborne guy. Uh, and he did Dark Souls. What's his name? He doesn't, he doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. He was great, though. We're doing What's the plan? This is no fun at all. She came onto the stream the other day. I didn't know who she was. I felt really bad. Yeah, you know what though? Can I? Can I I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I heard about that. Everyone's like, "What do you think?" That's kind of. That's kind of shitty, right? I'm like, "No, dude. I wish I could have done that." Like, I, 
I just feel like if I'm paying for the space, I'm paying for my web space, all that stuff, they're just embedding it and they're kind of working within the constraints of a system that, that, that is already stacked against them. Um, Oh, 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 don't do that. You slept him. Got a little sleepy sleep. Yeah, Switch was probably Twitch was probably like shit. That's a, that's that's ingenious. You know, though, like I said, they're they're working as a part of a system that's already kind of stacked against them. And I'd rather, I personally, like, I'd rather approach a system like that than have to... Does she have a bow? She does. Like, that's just kind of working in a gray area, but it still is, like, the area that... Isn't such a distant prospect. Wake up, Gail, it's Christmas. Cause it's it everything we do is very stacked up against us and it's just rough and tumble, man. All darkness party? Where does that mean move? What's hiding here? I, I think there's other things that they do. Link for real that I don't like, that are a little bit more egregious than than that. To be perfectly honest, I, it's not a it's not an even system to begin with, Link. So. Tell me Hats off to him for finding a system like that anyway. That's, curious. I need a shovel to dig this up. That's a really good point. I think the issue with embedding is how close it is to view botting for sponsorships on Twitch. Because like like I said, I'm the things are things are stacked against me. I have to contend with a lot of uh gimbal lock has a shovel. One of these guys back here. No guy in the ruins, okay. Like your your party about using darkness H O H. Wait, wait I, I'm sorry, I'm so confused, Moogs. You can drop in the hole and take the guys out with the oil barrel, getting three guys in one attack. Like kill them though. I mean, Fex though is not. Where's the person? Oh, inside the ruin. <clears throat> oh yeah, I found the hole for sure. Uh, because I guess I don't really look at what they're doing. Uh. Or let them stack even more, though. They're only now a really, really, really big entity in the past couple of years. Extra Life was not. Extra Life is... Has... has what are they at right now? They have just shy of a million. But they weren't... They were like at three, four hundred thousand two, three years ago. And what that means is... What is this? Damaged snare trap? Broken. Hmm. Must have been here a while. What that means is you're stacked against. There's just a lot of things that like people are gonna go to for different resources and different information. And if you pay for ad space, you make Wiki Wikipedia pages. People are on those Wikipedia pages. They're not really contributing towards you. Um, outside of just like looking at your your ad space possibly. But this is a way to get like forever long they're on the page. Use a loophole, get their viewership. They're going to leave. They're going to leave. I guess for me, it just... As someone who has to sit within a system like this, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I like my job. Or else I would not do this. They're, they're, a part of the system, too, is, you know, man, like... 
if I st if I decided, oh, I'm going to go on a, on a week and a half vacation, I better have content planned or else I'm, sh I'm fucked. The algorithm will not put back into you if you do not put into it. So there is a bit of a predatory into it. Would it though? I, I I think I I think there's still kind of. He's not necessarily like I I think he just got found out and he got caught and that's no big deal. Like, he's not like a one percenter, right? That gets away with murder. I do not know how to do the boss sword thing. Oh, this is bad everywhere. So which way are we taking in, guys? Am I going through the door? Am I going through this, which I probably won't be able to break into? Or are we jumping down the hole? I've never gone down the hole. It sounds kind of fucking wild, to be honest. No time to dally. Your desire. Got a pee. Eager for battle. What to do? The doors probably is are good on the hole. No, 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 Link, you're totally fine, man. Don't worry about it. You, there, you can be confrontational as long as you're respectful and not calling me an asshole. Someone on the channel, a little bit ago, like like 45 minutes ago, started to try to be a big old internet tough guy and start saying some big old bullshit about the word woke. And I was like, dude, just fucking stop. We're all trying to have a good time playing a video game. We're not trying to get political. And he told me to fuck off. So he got banned. You can absolutely disagree with what I say. I do not care. As long as you're being, we're having a good palaver about it, a good discourse. I don't know, man. I don't want to die here. Before me. Baptiste, thank you very much, man. I guess, like, it just doesn't. It's not. It's not as villainous to me because I sit in a system that I have to use hyperbole and clickbaity type titles to get views because someone above and below me is already doing that. If I don't say that this is the best or the ultimate or favorite in the title, they're just going to choose someone else who already is using those kind of scummy tactics. And that's how I kind of try to dodge it is by at least being upfront and saying, hey, here's at least the information I'm going to talk about. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, fuck off. Like, Epic Name Bro, that was it. Epic Name Bro was the guy I was talking about. Thank you, Dark Faith Barker. So I think it's like you, we already exist in a system that has a low, like a, already a busted moral compass. You know what I mean? Does this cause damage though for jumping down the hole? Oh, two HP fall damage. Yeah, we'll go through the, we'll go through the gate door. I got to pee real bad though. Be right back. Another loyal devotee.
Pencil, great to hear that, man. Oh, oh, <laughs> what a big yawn. Thank you very much for the donation to Pencil. Sorry, man. Thank you. Um, Thank you for the donation. Dude, yeah, Jam Plans 100%. Spraggles for Pokemon Unite made the same comments about Chris Page's titles. The algorithm won't reward a video about, try this fun build, only the brokenness build around. Yeah, 100%, man. Um, Do you want to see? Let's go with no movement yet on the board game channel just yet. Uh, you know, I haven't done a non upfront video in ages. Here, yeah. Um, I think I think I even did it in this one. I've been doing upfront stuff in my videos for years, and I, I can't. Some I don't, some I do, but I can't really remember off the top of my head. And most of my videos fucking suck <laughs> beyond a certain point. Um, here we'll look at this one. Here is two different videos. You're going to see the revenue for the both those videos, and it's going to be depressing. There you go. This is subclass. This is Chaos Dwarf Immortal Empires campaigns from worst to best. This is the typical retention at that time. See here, and I, I think I, I think I, I think I actually told people to leave, but I also have chapters, right? So they jumped ahead to the chapters. But here's a sub. Here's my um, tier list video, where you know people just leave those things in general. So I mean, that's the retention difference. Fifty percent of viewers still watching at around thirty percent mark, which is typical. Learn more by comparing to other videos. I guess I could. This is what it shows me. So my retention was higher at this time, but because I was I was a niche YouTuber that was only making content for this specific one or this specific game, really. So you could argue that the nature I, I deliberately chose this because of the nature of these videos is very like, okay, I just kind of want to see your S tiers, your A tier. Oh dude. Look at the here. Here's the income I made on this video. I don't mind sharing that. This is the income I made on this video. And this is, used to be the norm. That used to be exactly what I would make if I got a video that high. That was way, way higher than normal for me. My videos used to be way different. You think that, but it's not. This is not easy. <laughs> this is not. It, I'm looking at an outlier and common like this is this is the average this is way 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 above normal so don't look at this and go eleven hundred dollars a video why am i not making these videos and that revenue comes down to this 
your RPM. So if I look at the revenue here for this RPM, way lower. Yes, buttle, but kind of not, you know, it just, yes, I have substantially more views not doing Total War content. Substantially more. And if you people want to know too, this is all the breakdown here, you know? The display ads, I get most of my stuff from like auction earnings by ad type, it's mostly from skippable and bumper ads. Well, it's not even CA mess with me there. It's just, I tell people I'm a YouTuber uh, really well. Uh, about, about the same though, really, as Total War. Um, but really, it's just I tell people I'm a YouTuber. Like, oh, for what game? And I'm like, Total War Warhammer. I'm like, oh, I've never heard of it. Like, I know you fucking haven't heard of it. If I told people, if I told people though that I'm a Baldur's Gate three, if I make it make them for Diablo four, Baldur's Gate three. I still don't have people that know about it, but it's more likely because at least. Oh, Diablo is like a household name and won just one game of the year. So, eh. Uh, go through the door. Where we go? Everything all right out there? If you're on a roll, it goes up and down. Just continue to make these videos and we will watch them and you will grow magnificent just like your mustache. Come get with me, baby. Word's so easy. I think not. Oh. I think not. That's got 23 health. Oh yeah, that I was wondering why my smites aren't kicking in. There we go. Battle of wits. Talk to me. Thank you, boy. But it doesn't help that I wasted Lazelle's hit on him. Absolutely, man. I'm happy to help you out with the builds. Victory is assured. Sometimes the only way out is through. You had not, Vlad? <laughs> Thank you. That's <laughs> five percent more than her firebolt. Yeah. Have to keep going. Time to get a lot of money in here. Only dust and sight. Look at all this. Look at all this good money. Oh, that's two. Wait, that's me. Oh God, two or two. Jesus. The patron god is obvious. Not here. Oh, I thought I'm a gif. I don't have any uh, dark vision. This stuff is like primo right now, guys. Do you get more Withers content because I'm Dark Urge? Always room for more. But I was gonna say earlier, but I didn't because I can't keep a fucking thought straight in my fucking shit head. Is um, I I want to try to do more original content, content that is not like okay, I'm making guides and stuff, and those are gonna be they're always gonna be timely, you know. Like 
as things kind of wax and wane, they will become less and less popular, less and less viewed, so on, so on and so forth. But I'd like to do more like, even like retrospective reviews is something I was I was gonna do a really big push on retrospective reviews, but I didn't didn't pick up like I did a retrospective review of Medieval Two and it didn't really pick up very well. Uh. No, no, it's not wrong. Um, or even just like playing with friends. Like I thought about Hell Divers. Other than covering Hell Divers, I would just make uh, compilation stuff of me playing with friends and us fucking around. Because it's like half the fun of that game is like accidentally bombarding your friends. Like, God, it's happened so many times when we play. It's so fun. I think the best city of BG3 honor mode. Might die, I might make it. Who knows? Oh, 100% blood. I just I just love doing that kind of stuff. Like I think one thing I don't let shine in my uh, content is my humor. I am fucking funny, but I don't really use my humor in video. Oh, we got the portrait of Fane, baby. I kind of just, the more info dumps. Is there another picture in here? Or a I just don't, I'm just not a very serious person. Which is really funny when people come to my videos and all, they're my, my streams like, yeah, totally different. Okay, so everyone's got to be hidden right now, right? Then I open this lever. Get surprised, or don't, or don't surprise me. Nothing important is ever easy. Survival is all that matters. Well, as I could say, that did not. Don't fall. Thank you. Victory awaits. Another loyal devotee. Well, I thought I'd get a little bit more going with that, but I suppose not. <laughs> I mean, I could, but it just puts me in range to get shot to shit. Well, I got some. Oof. Oh, there definitely is. It's just tricky. He rages. Ah, oh, that's him.
love those early levels, right? Yeah, Yasha, I've definitely had it so that they just come right out. I, I just fucked up with that. Let me recite their demise. The witching hour. Got to keep fighting. Okay. The, the beginning of the game is scary. Like, honor mode is scary right here. You know, one of my favorite Netflix documentaries is... Not that one, right? That's not my least favorite one. Is, uh... Damn. Oh, fuck! Uh, oh no, I didn't see... My one of my favorite documentaries is the Hype Score one. Allow me to demonstrate. Ready. Let's do this. Nice. Solid single point of damage. It's gonna be doing all the damage for me. It's called High Score on Netflix, and it chronicles like the history of video games. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. Medic missile probably the way to go. Yeah, forgot about that. Feels like the worst catch-up in the game, for sure. They did, they did definitely leave, like, a lot of subject matter out. You should die from burning. But in case you don't, I'm right here. There we go. Should go off again. There you go. Pretty cool, right? Need to find a way forward. There is a chance that I just forsake everything else and go and go ancient. It's just like so, it's just such a good oath. Book of the final breath. Uh, 
I'm being raided. I'm being raided. Put that raid in my butt. Put the raid in my butt. It's the bunny who's raiding me. Shout out. Another loyal devotee. Thank you for the raid. Go check out uh, Kill the Bunny. Killer Bunny. X the Killer Bunny. Uh, thanks. For, go check out XX Super Vegito Bunny. Who didn't have an XX name when they were playing like early Counter Strike or something like that? We were like, oh yeah, you know, XX. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers for Dark Edge Bros. It's my first time. Uh, this is honor mode. Well, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you raided us. It's going to get unhinged in here. Always does. If you're not used to unhinged streams. Strong recommendation to leave. But it doesn't tell me. I think me thinks that's par for your course. Ooh, a perfectly nice bowl. Oathbreaker, Nabe. You, you're fine, Air Max. You're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. I don't mind answering. Yeah, but it's not as drippy, you know? Dr. Egeman mustache. Well, so I'm actually in the process of regrowing my beard, I think. I'm going to go back to the Will Riker. Nice, tight beard. Thoughts, opinions. Bros, what do you think? Mustache or beard? Curse to put my hands on everything. Both. Well, a beard does have both. Is it really? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I thought you had a thigh tattoo. I was like, oh, oh. I know how to play trumpet, actually, Nature Boy. That's the, uh, that's the instrument I learned how to play. Beard, I'm a beard man myself. I'm uh, handlebar stash, beard for sure. Strong mustache with handlebars. Mustache scruff combo looks good. Yeah, see, I kind of like the scruff, because I've been doing a mustache scruffy. Pretty okay. Two seventies. Yeah, I can't do. I, I'm not a. I'm not a clean shaven mustache kind of guy. Beard. With dirty checks. Bro, beard persists, so I can't really give advice. Or you hear me out. Mutton chops. Do you think I can grow mutton chops, bro? I like any like an Imhotep. It's true, Jam. I can. Girls do love mustaches. There's a big, there's a big fad on mustaches right now. Where's the lever for that? Depends on what girls. Ah. Oh. That's ah, the lever's over there. Need some help making a Lolth Priestess build. Any ideas? Uh, the knowledge, knowledge cleric, perhaps. I'll tell you exactly what girls want, LJ. It's the same thing that guys want. A sweet, hot bussy.
It is to be heard and felt appreciated. I don't think, I, I think like a lot of girls are like, I don't understand guys, I don't, I don't know how to get them. I'm like, here's a really simple equation. Ask them questions that you genuinely want to know the answer to and genuinely be interested in their response. Don't laugh and belittle their response. Because I think a lot of guys, when it comes to like a, like a guy-girl kind of relationship and dichotomy, they will tell you an answer that is what you think they think you want to hear. Oh, what do you like to do for fun? S snowboard, drink beer, go to breweries, and hike. Right? That's what you like? That's not true at all. <laughs> you feed me. I actually don't trust like nearly any girl to feed me. I have not. All my ex girlfriends were not cooks. I will say that. All right, Killer Bunny. Thanks for jumping in. Thank you for the raid. Go have some fun with them errands. And Lady Fireblood is here, resubbing up. Your botanist is all its fine glory. It's looking good. Hope that everything is going well with you. Hope everything is going well with you. So, and that, that's exactly it, right? Just like Mistari just said, ask me about literally anything that I'm passionate about and I might propose on the spot. It, and, and that's like, that's really all it takes. Just fucking ask a question. Girls like, God. I, ask a guy a question and, and, and be okay. Be okay with the, uh, with the response. Um, I, I think a lot of, like I said, a lot of guys are going to respond the way that they want you, what they think you want to hear. Like, I, when people ask me what I do for my free time, I, I, I say I have a bunch of nerd hobbies. Because they don't really want to know that I've got a fucking computer on my desk that is filled with LED lights. I've had people walk in my room and go, whoa, two monitors? What is this, a Best Buy? I'm like... Are you fuck? Are you fucking with me? Two monitors. It's so common. Exactly. That's what I was saying, Jaws. Like, you as a man, if you really want to, like, if you really want to, like, a crypt. Um, riches might it contain. connect with women, you have to, and yeah, only two, right? You have to ask questions, and you have to genuinely be interested in the response, and you have to genuinely uh, uh, respond in kind. Like, you can't just be like, "So, what's your favorite color?" I think it's too often that we think that we ask questions and no matter what the response is, we're thinking of ours. Like you've asked the question to respond how you want. Well, I have this 4090 and I should probably get a fucking 4K monitor. Yeah, you know, I go out to the clubs, to the bars, to the dancing, you know, have some fun and the live techno music playing all sorts of speakers. But realistically, I'm probably not going to find someone that's like... That's true wife material for me. Not that you won't find a wife in those in that, in those environments. I'm saying I'm not going to find a girl, meet her for the first time, get her number. We go on a couple dates. She comes over and she goes, oh my god. Oh... Oh my god. Is, is that an Alex Straza plush doll that you've got? It sure is. Is that a Kitsune Fox Spirit plush? <laughs> Me too. It, it's just like... Not gonna happen. <laughs> like, and I and th that doesn't matter. If a girl walked in and said like, Oh, what's up though? You have stuffed animals? I'm like, yeah, they're plushes. Fuck it, I don't care. Like that, like... There's a difference between you don't have to share someone's love and passions, but you have to understand and support them. That's the thing you've got to do. If you fucking make, if you make like a little behind the back, like, well, he only, oh, he only just plays video games. <laughs> I can't get him off that thing. No one wants to hear that. No one wants to feel chided for their escapism. Whatever it is. Even, I mean, like, I don't even look at video games as escapism for me. Put a little lipstick. Um, I just... I love fucking playing video games, man. I've been playing since I was fucking six years old. And I don't give a shit if someone doesn't fucking like them. But... I've definitely had situations in my life where people have... 
Because I'm also... Oh, people please are... So I've had relationships where that people pleasing has been used against me and manipulated against me to try to get a specific result. Organized by weight. Yeah, MS, do you want it? You want an Alexstrasza plush? Comes with free pictures of my feet. I, I won it at... I don't even fucking remember how I won it at uh, BlizzCon. You went in a thing and you, you you spent like 10 bucks and you put a thing in and you unlocked it and I got the Kitsune and the Alexstrasza plush. My ex-girlfriend guilted me for... She, she was afraid that I would meet... Um, hey, let's roll these fucking dice, baby. Yeah, but I don't have any... This is all the stuff I'm going to sell, baby. Oof. Holy shit. It's okay, it's okay. It's a, I don't need to do that. Really? Why? I'm not going to summon anything, is it? My ex-girlfriend was... Oh, shit. You know. Oh, the button, that's right. My ex-girlfriend thought I would meet someone doing this. He's like, oh yeah, you're I'm gonna you're gonna Hey, there's no work. He's like, don't do YouTube, you're just gonna meet someone. I'm like, mm, no. Works. She thought I would fall in love with one of my viewers. Oh. That's fine. Oh! What's going on? This place, this place is a muck. There's... Hey guys, so thanks for turning into my, uh, my, uh, honor mode roll. Something happened. Something happened. I thought that button shut them all off. Right, Clark, thanks for resubbing, dude. Let's get to the bottom of this. How you deal with that, right? Fuck it. <laughs> Walk in death. Holy shit. I'm over here trying to have a fucking conversation about relationships and marriage. And this thing's just fucking shooting me off of the hips. Not having a stare into the party, kind of a wild play, not gonna lie. Yeah, I call it the revivify strat, it really works out. They're feeling like me over bam, but you don't have to act like one when dealing with traps. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Expertly dealt with. Um what kind of healing potion situations I'm playing with uh Wow. You know what? No, we'll use a little. Time to get going. That's exactly what I was going to Oh, that recovers on short rest? In the future, man. Open up. Anyone else want relationship advice so it can kill me in this next region? Train has just started because piss Trisha. Jesus Christ just subbed up for one month. Holy shit, dude. Thank you so much.
Zaddy, dude. Fucking getting called Zaddy is the fucking best. We're looting the skellies, but it won't matter really. On my way. This armor is better. 14 versus her 13. What's inside? Armed scribes. But no sign of struggle. You know what? Is it that much better? Where's the club? Oh, it's on her. No fucking wonder. Uh, ooh, ow. It does have tenacity, which is nice, but I'd rather go with the, uh, well, it's 1d8 versus 1d10, so yeah, I'll go with 1d10. And I like the other things, I suppose. All right. What now? Breathe deep and move. Yeah, but the Blade of Avernus just does fire damage to them. Here goes nothing. Oh, yes, yeah, I get this point. I if I didn't like it, I would tell you. Don't waste a step. We've seen I'm very yes. handed. I didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. What's hiding here? I hope. The stink of a furnace. <laughs> Friends of mine, I who met getting married now i have two bachelor parties to attend and attend uh, two parties to plan and attend working that that has not been easy uh where are you gonna take them both looks like someone what's up numberless get the balder of sin yeah it's, it's up right now that's right you are watching on YouTube, make the switch to Twitch. Like 35 hours. One is Spider-Man 2 most because Act 1 is about the same time as Spider-Man 2. Not kidding at the platinum. BG3 is amazing, man. It is just so amazing. Indolence breeds madness. This book is fun lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. It's weird that it, it's sometimes that 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 uh extension works and sometimes it doesn't. I don't understand why. But it's active. As the lock opened, what was once script is now an obliterated scroll. You have a sense these are named gods. These are the names of gods, once lost, but now the last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. 
entire pantheon. Guys, it's been so many of you have tuned into here today. We have 141 of you on Twitch and 124 of you on YouTube. So thank you guys so 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 much. Having a great time. Looking ahead. It could be because I'm restreaming. Moving. Like I'm streaming this to go to both. Like it's just scroll of Raven Fuma, that's cool. I didn't know that. Of course. I kind of like this idea. No rest for the wicked, I see. Still breathing, despite everything. Assume nothing. Objective noted. Can't afford to stay idle. Onward. Which way to the nearest library? Very well. Democracy calls. All right, Alpha Blue, have a good one, dude. I just don't understand, dude. Like, I just can't fucking hit anything with this character. At 80% with advantage, are you five finger fucking me right now? I could have smitten those kittens and been just fine, but no. Stay focused. Uh, Nature Boy, I saw that they had like their own convention. And that's fucking awesome. I'll tell you. What fools these mortals be. By the way, that's a. So there's so much like Shakespearean influence in this fucking thing. What fool these mortals be is from Rocket Spear. No. I didn't hit it with all three. Yep. In Yosarian, the last, uh, the last, um, well, so much for peace. The achievement for beating the game is called Also That Ends Well. There's another thing, too. Oh, we got fucked. Of course, it's a myth. Death is but a word away. Yeah, they cast it if you play in this mode for sure.
Give me what? There we go. You close to dying anytime during your last hard mode? Uh, yeah, it was in the it was in the Gauntlet of Shar actually. Moving ahead. That did us dirty a couple of times. A lot of effort. Oh, so it's not there. Damn. That would have been cool if that mural was there. So the mural at the end of the game is there. Is right here. Interesting. No, it definitely, I mean, it could be, but it looks exactly like this. Uh, no, not the self-same trial. It's the, it's the shadow one. Could have been. Do we all know who this is? Should I spoiler it? Do you find out, do you find out directly who he is in the Dark Urge? So he has spoken. Well, nature boy, in that same quest, in that same book we just opened up, uh, that book has the same thing. As always. What a curious way to. And that, this god has a relationship to those three gods. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a I love that. That sounds sick, actually. Blood. I am not the same as those. This is not Kelmore. Slain, if that is what thou askest, wilt thou answer my question? If, if you guys, I can tell you who this is, but it is a spoiler. So if you don't want to know. So I ask again, what is the worth of of a single mortal life. And thus, balance is achieved. Very well. We have. We will. Oh, he didn't say it? There. That's who it is. Didn't think anyone worshipped the scribe of the dead. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Good here. I'm just gonna see. Uh, if I remember, yeah, there's a book. So there's a book in Act Three that, that straight up says like exactly that. Yeah. Um. There is a uh, a book that I think it says the three the three. Bane, Merkul, and Ball all fucked over Jergal, right? Isn't that the isn't that like the lore? I, I I'm not good with this lore, so you guys would know more than me. Yeah, 
Yeah, he made them. That's right, because all three of those guys, Bane, Ball, and uh, um, Merkul used to be adventurers, and they found they they ascended to godhood. Uh, let me go pee. Be right back. Another loyal devotee. What, buddy? <laughs> Helenbor is now the god of dead. Right? The death. The dead. Right? Go pee real quick. Be right back. A steadfast supporter. Remember, guys, join the Discord. Come hang out. You also know when I'm going live, or if I do any uh, any le special secret late night streams. I have I have special streams that I only do for the Discord. Um, a number of other things. So come on down. I think he's kind of like believable. I don't even know. Um, you can hang in all you want, Nightly Cat. Subscriber Razor, thank you for subbing up, my man. Fills you with determination. Can you imagine I was dating Sims. Oof. So, do we switch Gale to a Tempest cleric now? How do we go about this? Uh, I think we put him one level into Sorcerer. We could do one one Sorcerer, two cleric, and then back into Sorcerer. Get at it. You're silly. Thank you, man. I appreciate that, Razor. Get out of there. I think like I put on I put on fucking chapstick and he's like Oh, oh. oh. Who get out of there? You get out of there. Oh god. Roman is a mini Australian shepherd. He's a mini Australian crackhead. He's my little crackhead. He's my little crackhead, aren't you? You're so. Oh. 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 No, no, you do not get. You do not get. Not even. With that. What are you doing with that Alex Straza plus? You trying to you're trying to find some bitches? Okay, um Let's take Gale. My magic. May it please Mistra. Ah another 
I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, fate spins. You want him to be the wall magic barbarian? I was going to make him the, the, the cleric. The Tempest cleric. Because it's going to be Gale, Asterian. I mean, I can make Asterian the, the Tempest cleric. Kind of weird, though, right? And then a wild card one that'll kind of swap out. I could have made Karlak the wild heart, the wild heart barbarian. Not Kellyanne. Well, yeah, it was going to be Temp Cleric Stormsork is what he's going to be. As thou desire. We did Ranger Rogue a starting for the last one. No, no. <laughs> um, no, because the heavy armor for that comes from their subclass. So uh, we're going to go Sorcerer first because that way we get a constitution proficiency. And then our next level would be into Cleric because Tempest Domain will give it to us, as you can see. We get that through that. So it's not bound to the actual class, it's bound to the subclass. Crucial. So Sorcerer it is. I'm, although, you know, I kind of do like, I kind of like Gale's Barbarian. Well, he wouldn't be in heavy armor, right? He would be in no armor or medium. I don't know. What do you guys want? Uh, if if you make him a storm sork, he'd probably be. <laughs> you guys want me to make him a, a barbarian? You can do it. I I think it. I think it'd be really weird, but I think really fun. I don't know. I'm just trying to decide. I don't know who I want to do. I don't know if I want to have him be the Sork or the... I, I kind of like the idea of making him the Wild Magic Barbarian. That's really fucking cool. Oh. I wonder how... Mm, I don't want him to... I, do I still get to choose what item he eats? You know, I don't want him to eat a fucking magic item. That I don't want him to eat. Um, I know I, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to think what's fun for me. No, you're fine, Jam. It just reminded me of that whole thing. Um, I just don't know if I make him the Sork. So okay, if I'm the if I'm the Bard, the Bard it in. We're taking Asterian. What do I make Asterian? Shadow Monk kind of makes sense, though, for her. Um, we can make... Beastmaster, De Beastmaster Ranger with Dex proficiency. He was already a, a Ranger. We did Monk last game, yeah. 
Jewer to stare it until one comes in. I kind of like that. I, I like that. I will go. I think. I think it's. I think. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do. We'll do Jewer to Starian. Who's our fourth? So we're doing Gale and Asterion. I think we're gonna well, we're gonna swap in. We'll swap in Halson. You know what? I think I think we'll do this. Tyler, that sounds fucking cool. Let me see how we do that. That would be a four, a four elements monk with wild magic barbarian. But I have to see when wild... Okay, so they get their shit at 10. No. Mm, no. Good. Mm. But the cool thing about uh, um, Way of Four Elements, you don't need to go that high to get the benefit. Six. I need to get nine there too, though. Ugh, yeah, that doesn't really that doesn't really fly. Because at level nine. You get improved elemental casting. So all of your stuff does one more dice of damage. So 3d6 goes to 4d6 and so on and so forth. Um, you get that at level 9 here is what it says. Level 9, great for elements. Level six is um, spells. Yeah, F Fangs of the Fire Snake is like the best one, and that's the level three ability. Well, you don't get Flurry, though. Flurry is only for uh, Open Hand Monk. Do they? Oh, Flurry of Blows. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're so smart. Dude, did we make him a bard berry, a bard monk? We would just, we would just do three levels into bard, into monk. Not a bard monk, it's a barbarian. A bard monk. Could be kind of fun. Just gonna. Well, I need wisdom. Actually, kind of easy to do, right? That could be doable. They they will stack, yeah. They will stack. That could be really fucking cool. And 
and then stack a bunch of fire damage. They don't stack? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Nor the Barbarian version of the... Bar uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we'd probably do... Yeah, so it's everyone's higher. Well, the wisdom does help. I guess actually maybe it won't. Things the fire snake. It's, it's an attack roll, yeah. And the cool thing is once you get extra attack, you can use Fangs of the Fire Snake as part of your extra attacks. Ooh. Yes, you can four elements cast while raging. Because it's not considered a spell, because you can cast these when you're not when you're when you're silent. Exactly, right? So Tyler, we would use Fangs the Fire Snake. Then my bonus action could be Fury of Blows, and my other action can just be another punch, but all of them will have fire damage. And we can try to jump into the items that increase our fire damage using heat and stuff like that. Ooh. This could be a really cool build. Eat. Well, what I would actually do, Vlad, is do nine levels into Barbarian, three levels into uh, Monk. Because the other thing that the the Barbarian's gonna allow us to do is um, it'll allow us to replenish spell slots. So we can replenish spell slots on our uh, Bard. Yeah, 100%, Slom. It damn right it can be. Ooh, man. I think we go with this and we don't necessarily focus on using like Hill Giant Strength. Oh, we can, let, let's try this. Let's try this. Maybe we can have a lot of fun with this. So don't use strength, we're saying, Blom? Me too, this Trisha. It's stupid strong, and I get it, but I just don't like it. Wait, I, I'm confused. Ooh, uh, huh? Tyler, you only get one or the other. No, you're right that you're right there. I meant the unarmored defense. Yeah, right, right, right. So why are we going to go dex weapons?
Oh, yes, correct. Non-finesse monk weapons. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of like this route. Because now, I mean, yeah, we're not going to get the... We'll get the AC bonus from Constitution. I think we go with this. Uh, I think I think that's not true, Salam. Oh, armor or shields. I thought, I thought that... I, I, the monk one is like that, but the barbarian one isn't. I'm almost positive on armor bar defense. Yeah. For barbarians, barbarians can use shields. Monks cannot. A wise decision. Oh man, we're getting we're gonna get up there. So stop me yet. Very well. Undress him. He's yeah, he's fine. Lazel that was coming to the party. Nothing makes you feel more like a disgusting looking character than that. I like it. What now? So we're turning him into a into a druid or the storm sork. I feel like maybe we turn him into the storm sork because we're gonna pick up Halson. And turn Shadowheart into a druid. That way it's just we're swapping that character out. Wardrobe, oh, yes. I shall be here in my... Oh, we're getting our refund. Don't you worry about it. Let's go Shillelagh. And Guidance. Just so we've got that covered, even though we're probably going to pick it up again. I kind of thought it'd be fun, though, to make him the Spore Druid. Thinking about it kind of makes it... Yeah, this is right. This is this is the way. Also, Monk... Wild Heart with the level 6 option to add strength mods to attacks twice. Blood, hell, dust, gloves, and probably Ooh, that sounds pretty sick. Any weapon is a monk weapon if you're proficient in it. I mean, wisdom? Where about my points? Ah, oh, dexterity, I guess, for AC.
Uh, I said Wild Heart Teller. I meant Wild Surge. It's Wild Magic. Wild Magic Barbarian is what we're doing. I guess having friends could be a good idea. Nice bit of clear. Um, and am I doing storm sorcery? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ten. That's five. That's plus five to all, versus just. Yeah, I want to go storm sorcerer. Good call. Wait, water. Uh, we get that through the cleric. Oh, oh, okay. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. This is to a cleric. Any suggestions for deity for him? I think Kellenbor probably fits the most, but. Yeah, I guess not, but. Yeah, good call. Tomorrow? Okay, tomorrow sounds fun. Oh, yeah, for sure. There is work to do. Let's see what I can glean. Ah, I shall be here. No, I call. It won't be soon. Does not see as Do you like this split? I think it's a pretty good split. No, a spore druid. Could be Moon Druid, though. Could try land though. Yeah, that kind of fits her personality. Mm -hmm. Haft 
pushing. All right. Still I think that's a pretty good place for us to progress. stop for the day. We'll be back here on Thursday with another big stream, kind of jumping into this. We have the Emerald Grove to jump into, and then the Goblin Camp, so it should be a pretty fun uh, uh, stream next time. Kind of set some stuff up. Um, but, guys, thank you so much for watching here today. There, we had a ton of subs here today, too, so thank you so much for all the subs you gave out, everything. It was a spicy, spicy sausage. We're up to 208 subs for the whole entire month, which is well above our, our goal, guys. So thank you so, so, so much. Um, let's see here. Who are we raiding? If you're watching on, on YouTube, if you're watching on, on YouTube, come on across and do the raid. Hey, thank you very much. Mike Throws Bands gave out five more community subs. That's 90 he's given out for this whole fucking channel. 15 just here today. Thank you very much, man. Thank you so, so much, brother. You're big dick. Oh, dude, we're going to raid your lucky clover because she's a fucking spaz. And I love it. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. All right, guys. Big raid coming through. Let's get this one going here. 25 of you are in. Or 38 of you. 51 of you are in. 64. 80. 88. How high can we get? Can we get to 100? We're at 95. We're at 96. Uh-oh. We're four away. We need four people to jump across to make a girthy 100-person raid, bros. Go ahead and... Uh, join back on over to here to Twitch and also make sure you do join the discord that way you can keep updated on any of the private streams I do anything like that any of the fun stuff um, that way you'll know if any videos go live any streams go live and I will be starting to work on last epoch videos I'm gonna do the casting multi-class tier list video for uh, I'll work on that tomorrow so that'll go up here probably on Thursday and we'll just keep jumping into some of this with Last Epoch launching next week, though, I don't know if uh, I don't know how much longer we'll be playing Baldur's Gate. I'm, it, I'm not gonna lie; it, it kind of makes me upset and kind of almost makes me want to cry. But I'm a man, and men cry. Goddamn right they do. And if you don't fucking cry, you should cry and go get, go have a good cry. You're gonna really enjoy your life. Trust me. So, my bros, thank you so much for watching here today. We'll be jumping back in on Thursday to have some more fun with this playthrough. Uh, probably probably get to the Mountain Pass Thursday. And I might even stream on Friday and not make videos and stream on Saturday as well. But this raid is going off here. We're at 99. We need one more viewer. Five, four, three. Thank you so much for watching. Wash your hands. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you bros on Thursday.